Hi everyone, so I have here some stamping plates that I got in from eBay. I seen Denise John 65 do a video on some Moyu plates that she had found on eBay. Now these are like replicas of them, but I mean, to be honest with you, I see no difference besides the plates being thin, but I'm guessing that's also because too they don't have the backing to them to give them like um, stability. For them to stay in, you know, a little bit, like, to make them feel thicker. So, I think that's just, like, the only difference to me. I mean, of course, I'm sure when you, if you do decide to get the plates or if you order the plates and you receive them, then you might just have your uh, own opinion or take on the plates. So, I'll show you the first one. I mean, I've already, I'll show you the plate. I'll go to the plates and then I'll show you one open already. And then I'll do a little stamping with it. That way, though, you can see and, you know. I guess you can just go based off of that or you can decide whether you're going to go through with ordering them or order more or whatever. But anyways, here is the first one and it is, I'm sorry about the, the camera background, but here's the blue one. And this is like the fairy tale collect, I mean, I'm sorry, Mother Nature, I believe. And you can see here it's got like some roses, some more roses, and it's got the tree with the roses, the little, um bench iron bench and then the tree and some more roses and some flowers so there's that one and then here is the other one i believe this is although also the mother nature one and this one's got like a kite um it's got a tree you can see and it's got like some little flowers and butterflies and a little fox and some more roses and stuff in that little I think that's a yeah deer. Okay, so there's that one. And then the next one I believe also this is a mother nature. I am not sure, but it's got more roses, like in a pot, and then it's got some little um ivy leaves and flat I mean birds and water fountain and it's got some more like I believe these are what flowers and stuff so yeah there's the other one and like these plates are I mean I wouldn't say they're too thin but I mean they're they're pretty thin so yeah okay there's that one and the back to the plates like if you can see they're like scratched up some are really scratched up so I don't know if that's going to be an issue for you. I was thinking of kind of finding like the plastic that's like on the back of the original, um, the original authentic Moyu plates like that plastic. I was actually thinking about just trying to find a similar material and or actually like the plastic and kind of cut them out and actually so I can place like glue these to the back. But I was like, nah, you know, it's not really, it's not like if I'm just going to sit there for hours and actually be messing with the plates. So... I've just decided just to leave them alone, just leave them as is and whatever, just, I guess, take care of them. <laughs> so, yeah. And this one, I believe it's also the Mother Nature. I am not sure. I didn't check to see what the collection was from. It's just, it's got, this one just has, like, a lot of fall leaves and stuff like that, which is really cute. And the tree, and then, I think it's like a fern plant or something. Yeah, so there's that one. It's got two little birds and stuff. It is really cute. And here is another one. And I think it's probably from like the Greek mythology collection. And this is what I'm talking about before I show you the image. See how this is pretty scratched up. Really, really scratched up. So that may be something you want to think about if you're like really picky. I'm very picky, but I mean for the price, you really can't beat it. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever. You know, it doesn't really phase me as much. So, I believe this is like the Greek mythology, or it could be the Zodiac. No, I think it's Greek mythology. Yeah. And you can just see, like, it has all the different little images and stuff. Swirls and the male and it's like the feathers and these are the lips, I believe. Are they lips? I'm not too sure. Let me see. Yeah, they're lips. So, it's really, really cute. And then here, I believe... I'm not sure this is like from the travel collection. I'm not sure. It's like a little farm with like wheat plants and like the fields and the windmill and the bird and the barn. Really cute. Okay. 
And if you're looking for this image, I'm sure you can find it through here. I will leave the link down below, or you can just go and check out Denise John 65, and she also has the links on one of her videos. And I believe this one is from the fairy tale collection. This next one, and you'll see like the so uh, that's a Pegasus. What is that? Oh, a horse. Sorry, with a knight. <coughs> Some swirls, stars, moon. I like the little images here, like the swirls and the different patterns. It's really cute. And then I have this one here. I accidentally ordered two. And this is also really from the fairy tale. And it's the Wizard of Oz. And you can see like the little. The lion and the tin man. <coughs> really cute. Bless you. How's his best? Sneezing. Yeah, so this is really, really cute. And. This is also from the furry collection, and I like this because it's got like that jack in the box right here, the ballerina, and the, I believe that's the nutcracker, I'm not too sure. And like just, just the different images are really, really pretty. And the next one is also from the furry collection, and it's got like roses and Sleeping Beauty, and what's it, Prince Charming? I don't know. So it's really cute, like the, the designs and stuff on it. It's really gorgeous, and the roses. Yeah. So there's that. And then this is Snow White. If you can see. Yeah. So and you see little flowers here, and these little designs here, and the little um, leaves, and they're just so really. I just, just love them. And then um, the little deer. Really cute. I'm almost done here. And this is also too from, I think, from the fairy collection. It's really cute. It's like a sweet candy, like a gingerbread house, like a sweet candy house. And the pretzel, you see the pretzel and the lollipop and the little, I guess, what are they? little candy wrappers and it had a little girl and a little boy and some more little flowers and more candies over here it's really adorable I like it I like it so much and I have one open so I'll go ahead and do a little stamping to show you like how well they pick up and stuff that way though you in case you're curious to know if they pick up very well or not this is also from the fairy collection and it's got like the fairies and, and like little square designs and the mushrooms and like the dandelions and stuff like that really cute and if, if i'm in too much zoomed in too much i'm sorry about that i'm just trying to get the image <laughs> so yeah okay so yeah there's that next one I believe it's also from the Greek mythology it looks like yeah, here you go here is the image so uh -uh. you hear my husband speaking crazy out there this next one is I believe like tropical collection. Yeah, it's got like the watermelon, pineapple, the tropical um, uh, what do you call it? Palm trees and stuff, or the leaves from the palm trees, or the palm tree itself. Yeah, it's there. Oranges and yeah, really cute. Okay, and this next one, you see, like, this one has a pretty, you see the line, how it's right here going across, and now it's pretty scratched up. Yeah. This one, I believe it's also, well, I'm not too sure what collection this is, but I just tried to get all of them that were on there. And this is cute because it has, like, the little clouds and the little swirls. 
really cute. You'll see like the clouds over here, like right here, really cute. And they have like little smiley faces in the clouds over here. So adorable, really cute. And the next one is also from the fairy collection. You can see like a castle with the stickers in the way. There's like some mermaids and a unicorn and a pegasus and some squirrels. And it's got like a zebra print in it. Really cute. I'll show you. Really, really cute. And here is the next one. It's also from the fairy collection. And I believe this is like the uh, Alice in Wonderland, I believe. Because it's got the teacups, and then it's got um, Cheshire, the moon, the stars, and little little details. Really cute. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Okay, and the next one is, I'm thinking it's a fairy tale collection. I'm not sure. It says Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Sorry. And it's got like little, I think it is, or it could be from the Greek collection, I'm not sure. But here it goes. There's some images. And I'll go through these pretty quick. I don't want to keep dragging this video on because it's like already 11 minutes. This next one is also from like the Greek, I think, mythology. You can see the images pretty well. The next one is also from the Greek mythology. Hmm. Just trying to see the images. I really haven't gotten a chance to really mess with these. I did, I mean, I went through them really quick and um, checked them out to see the quality and the material if they were scratched and whatnot. And I did a little stamping with it earlier to post on Facebook, and it seemed that it worked. It seemed to be pick up very well. And you know, I'm not very great with stamping. Here's the other one. I think this is also a Greek mythology one. I'm not sure. I haven't. I mean, I like stamping. I am. I would really like to get into it a little bit more. I just really there's so many things that I want to do, and I just don't have the time to do. But hopefully I can start my collection of stamp, you know, my um, stamping plates. I do have quite a bit, quite a few. I wouldn't say I, had, I have a lot, but I never. There's that. And this one, the next one, I believe it's also from the Greek mythology. I'm not sure. I'm Like I said, I just picked up whatever they had on there and whatever was sold out I wasn't able to get, so... This is from the fairy tale collection. You can see like the fairies and the carriage and the horses and all that stuff. Really, really cute. And then this is another one from the fairy tale collection, I believe. It's got like trees, clouds, and um, just like a lot of little imprints. Designs, really cute. Trying to get there. This next one is, I believe, Fairy Tale Collection as well. And it's got, or may, it could be Mother Nature. It's got like the trees and the rabbits and the little um, birds and flowers and leaves. Really cute. And the next one, I believe it's also from the Greek, yeah, Greek collection. And then, oh, sorry, here's another uh, Wizard of Oz. I had accidentally ordered two of the one of the Greek collections, and I was like, oh no! So I already had paid for it, so I contacted the seller immediately, and she was explained. I had explained to her what I wanted, and she went ahead and changed them for me. So that that's it for the stamping plates. Um, I have one here. I'm going to show that to you right now. Let me just get these out the way. And this is what I have also. We can see it's from the, I believe it's from the fairy tale collection as well. And you can see it's like the little lady who lived in the shoe. <laughs> and you can see like the ruler and stuff. I was using, um, 
when I was just testing them out, this is the one I was using to test out. And I was using acetone, and for some reason, this right here was starting to look like it was fading. And I was like, oh no, I said, these darn things are so cheap. And I was kind of getting upset about it, but no, it, it actually wasn't. It was just the acetone was making it just appear a little lighter because I was cleaning it off. But yeah, I'll do some stamping to show you. And See how that turns out. So I'm gonna put my paper right here, and here is the stamping plate. Okay, now I'm trying to get into focus for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get this acetone ready, and I'm going to be using this stamp right here. Hold on, let me clean it off because I was using it. I'm sorry, I'm have I still have my acetone. This big old bottle oh crap mm. I'm gonna use some of it you know I'm just gonna get the paper towel it's not good oh no okay well I'm sorry you guys I'm so sorry so what I'm gonna do for right now is just I'm gonna clean this off and then you can see if any images are fading. Like I was panicking. I was like, oh no, these things are, are no good. <laughs> so yeah, it's cleaned off. This is a stamper I'm going to be using. I believe this is the one that Susie sent me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But sometimes these things are hard to get keep clean. I'm going to use the pink, the pink side. That way, though, you could see the image a little better. And here is the pink rubber stamper. Okay, hold on, let me get some more. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I'm so sorry. I have here, like, some sample nails that I already have painted. So I'm just going to put the image on here, okay? So there's the... I'm going to leave it to the side. I have... I don't have um, too many stepping polishes. I have bought a few MoYu. For some reason, they just don't, I don't know, they, the ones that I've purchased from my um, local um, nail supply, they seem kind of grainy. And I don't know if that was why they were selling them so cheap, but I also use like the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear, and it will pick up the image, but it dries super, super quick. So I don't know if that's something that you want to consider. So for this test right here I'm going to be using this um, Moyu um, stamping polish if you can see in white and um, I'm tr I need a card <laughs> oh my god I need a card to pick this up and I'll be right back let me get that card okay Okay, I'm back. I'm so sorry I couldn't find my card, so I went and got another one, another card. It's not good. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to stamp. Let's see, I'm going to try to get something. I guess something that's got like some... Something that's got a little image to it. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to scrape that real quick. Here is my stamper. And you can see the image picked up pretty well if my camera wants to focus. So I'll just stamp that onto the nail that I have here. Seeing it dries so so quick, so I'll get another one. I'll do it again. Okay. Let me try to do this a little faster. Because sometimes this thing acts. 
not cooperate with me. See, it picks up the image really well. And I'm just going to stamp it here on top of this Mia Secret. You see, and it did pick up the image. See, it picks up the image very, very well. I don't, didn't, I really didn't have a hard time with it at all. So, yeah. I'll do another, a couple of more. That way, though, you could see if it's worth getting it or, you know. I'm going to make sure I wipe it down right. And again, I'm going to use a Moyu polish. Let me clean off my stamper. And I will, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to think what spot to use. <laughs> um, how about this zipper right here? Okay. So. Again. And you can see that it picks up very if my camera wants to focus that it picks up the image very very well okay and again I will stamp it on to oh it ain't, it ain't stamp but because it dries so quick this nail polish and maybe that's why it was cheap I don't know so I'll do a little bit more I'm going to be pretty fast with this stuff, or maybe I'm just upon applying it too thin. I don't know. Let me clean off my stamper. Get my scraper. and Let me do a, another image for you guys. Okay. Let's scrape that off really quick. You can see. And let me apply that right here really quick. You see? Didn't have any problems. I just, for some reason, this nail polish, you just got to be like really quick. I don't know why. But yeah, that's the results for the Moyu um, imitation plates, I guess you can say. Um, and here is a plate. So if you have ordered some already, then this is what you're going to get. If you're planning on ordering some more, but you weren't happy with this tutorial on them or review on them, then yeah, you just, I guess, just go based off of that. <laughs> so I hope this helped. Um, like I said, the plates came pretty scratched from the back. Not all of them. I mean, they did, all of them had scratches, but some of them weren't as bad as near as bad as some of them but like I said you know for a dollar fifty through a dollar ninety five you really can't beat that and you know it's picking up the images very well so yeah so um that's it for this review on these um plates and I will leave the link down below in the description box and I'll also try to link um Denise John's video so that you can go and check out her video on um this great find so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'm sorry that it took me a while to upload. Come the weekends, like, it's just, it's crazy with my girls and they want to go all over the world and like, oh, oh God, they, they just, they're just something else. <laughs> but anywho, um, I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, take care. Bye.